yeah so anyways like i was saying um i was in target going to the pharmacy in the back so i go in i go in straight i make a left everybody that's it's like a, a left lane and a right lane so i'm on the right lane i just made a left into the right lane and everybody is in traffic the people are all walking down the right lane and so I noticed that there's a Target employee helping an elderly lady and they're coming, you know, in the wrong direction, pretty much. They're supposed to be on the opposite side walking, you know. So I see them coming up. And so I decide in my mind, I'm going to go ahead and move out their way. And so, you know, I can make sure that they get through. It's no issue, no conflict. I, I like to avoid conflict. I don't even like to go in stores. If I could go through a drive-in or do curbside pickup, that's what I'm doing or do delivery. But I had to go into the pharmacy this time. So, um, yeah, I moved out the way of the Target employee and the elderly lady that was, you know, needing assistance. I moved far out the way and this Target employee still bumped the crap out of me. She just bumped the crap out of me. And like, I just like stop because I'm like this don't make no sense it's like clearly she did that on purpose basically like when you, when you stick your leg out and trip somebody like that's basically what she did to me like you shoved she shoved herself into me and it's just like crazy because I'm like I saw them ahead of time I'm moving out her way and she still bumped into me and then I'm thinking like you know I should have recorded that or should just have my phone not recording all the time but I don't want to live like that so needless to say, I don't want to go. I'm not going to Target no more. I don't shop at Target no more. The killing part is I used to work at a Target, you know, but I'm not shopping at Target no more. And that's the reason why. But you can either choose to feed into or you can just choose to learn from it. You know what I'm saying? Be even more cautious. Be even more, you know, just send them love and forgiveness. Even just now, even though that Target employee is a total B-I-T-C-H. And even though she is wrong as dirt. I'm still going to go ahead and wish her love and forgiveness because I know that she probably sincerely hates me and that's why she pushed me in the store and assaulted me but I chose to forgive her now and you know who's going to win love or hate so that's that but as far as the um Kroger incident it was like people were saying like I was being like rude or something but I wasn't being rude I was trying to check out and hurry up and make my transaction and the lady should have typed in the numbers to the card and just got it over with she should have just checked me out she should have just typed in the numbers because like I said I went into that exact same store before and did the exact same thing before yeah people say I should have got a new um card number people said I shouldn't have been getting crab legs People say all kinds of stuff, but that don't take away from my testimony. That don't take away from the fact that the universe has been extremely abundant to me and to my situation. And despite that incident, I'm still very grateful for life itself. You know what I'm saying? Th th those people are irrelevant. That story is irrelevant. That part of my life is irrelevant. What's relevant is me overcoming all of that. That's the whole point. That's the whole purpose. I am very abundant and it, it, don't, it don't have nothing to do with, with any of that. The testimony of the universe is that anything is possible. You can put anything, you can do anything you put your mind to. And the universe is very, very magical, you know, and anything is possible. It's best to think positive or if you choose to think negative then you just chose the dark side you know but i don't choose the dark side i choose the light side i choose the supreme being side i choose to be an oracle in this you know very dark place that we call the world my life is bright look at how look at how bright the sun is right now you know I'm just saying it's very very bright over here it's very very sunny over here it's very very peaceful over here and so i'm not going to mistake boredom for peace like some people said you know i was being boring but i was just 
just showing that side of myself but i even don't even care to even show all of that because i got several videos where that was probably the most i said you know what i'm saying these people come at me first these people try me first and it's rare that i speak up for myself but i knew that it was gonna go down when she got to call in a manager for no reason so i started recording you know what i'm saying i'm like i'm not about to sit up here and just I have no defense for myself and these just cause a scene and I'm like I'm not about to cause no type of scene I'm not about to raise my voice I'm not about to use no type of curse words in fact I'm not even about to shop here I did purchase some stuff on that gift card I returned that stuff on the gift card and they called the police on me as I was uh returning the stuff on the gift card I had said nothing else to anybody else I was at the counter returning the stuff and she just called on a loudspeaker um, for the police to come up to the store. She didn't say, I'm calling the police on this girl because of such and such and such and such because she couldn't say that. She couldn't say that. She just said, we we need the, a police officer to come up to the store and you can hear it over the loudspeaker. And it was just like right after that happened. And I'm like, what the? She called the police up here. And I basically said on me, but it was like, she ain't had no no reason to call the police on me. What are you calling the police for? I said what I said. I said, you lying. I can say anything I want to say. It's a free country, right? I said that she was lying and saying that she couldn't um, type in the number. She could. She just didn't want to. That's a big difference. Just say you don't want to do it. Because if I was able to do it at that same store, I should have been able to do it. But that's the point of the testimony of the universe. I'm not going to bring that up no more ever again. Like, I'm over it, you know? It's not a big deal. I just was trying to get some food, some dinner that night. I still ate. I'm still full. So that's neither here nor there.